Good day, my scholars. This is my school channel, and my name is Abiola. Don't forget, in this channel, we are solving the Jab CBT past question for the subject chemistry, the year 2015. Stay with us because we'll be right back. Welcome back to my school channel and in this segment we are solving questions 1 to 20. So we have question 1 right before us. The filter in the cigarette reduce, reduces the nicotine construct by what? This is done by adsorption. Okay, uh, adsorption is different from absorption. Okay, absorption means um, you know whereby the atoms, molecule or ions of a particular substance, okay, it adheres to the surface of another material. Okay, so you just see it's um, like being sticky to the surface of the material. Let me just use that word as description. Why in absorption, you know, it involves the whole volume of the other material. You know, a, a substance takes up or swallows up another uh, material, okay, or another substance rather. So that is so. The correct answer here is by ad adsorption. The nicotine, okay, it's been uh, absorbed, okay, to the surface of the filter, okay. So it cannot much of it cannot go past this uh, filter so this re reduces the nicotine intake all right so the filter in the cigarette reduce the nicotine construct by what by adsorption so option b is the correct option question two which of these require crystallization the most okay at first um, crystallization is just used to separate salt okay from their solution this kind of salt you know they easily decompose on eating so we need this um, crystallization and crystallization is um, used when uh, you need high high standard of purity okay and that is being employed in um, drug making and sugar production so the correct option here is option a for drug making number three Iron is often galvanized in order to do what? Okay, when you talk about uh, galvanization, you are coating um, iron or steel with zinc. Okay, this is to prevent corrosion or to protect it against corrosion. So the correct option here is option C. Iron is often galvanized in order to protect it against corrosion. Question four. In the industrial production of hydrogen gas, okay, from water gas, the CO2 or carbon dioxide produced along with the hydrogen is hydrogen gas is removed by what? Okay, so talking about the industrial preparation of hydrogen gas, you can use the water gas, okay, which is the Bosch process, which is what we have briefly described here. Okay, you can also use from methane and you can also use bioelectrolytic method. Okay, so this is for Bosch process. This is how it happens. Okay, when you pass some um, steam over red hot um, coke. That's carbon, of course. That's about uh, 1,200 degrees Celsius. Okay, what you get is water gas, um, combination of carbon dioxide and hydrogen gas. Okay, so excess steam is still introduced. Okay, at this point, um, you will pass the excess steam that is being mixed with the water gas. Okay, you pass them over iron three oxide or chromium three oxide. Okay, so this will now change or this will now. Um, convert the CO, that is the carbon 2 oxide present, to carbon 4 oxide. Okay, the carbon 4 oxide you now have alongside, um, alongside the further production of hydrogen gas. This carbon 4 oxide produced is now being removed. Okay, by passing the mixture through dissolve or dissolving it in water, passing it through water under the pressure of about um, 30 atmospheres, or you can use caustic soda solution, whichever one works for you. So I think um, from the options provided us, we have washing under pressure, that is dissolving it, dissolving it in water at some um, that 30 atmosphere that we just mentioned. So the correct option here is option A. The process described here is botch process. So option A is the correct option. Question five. The gas that is most useful in protecting humans against solar marathon is what? Okay, um, that gas is ozone. It's a triatomic molecule. Uh, that's an allotrope of oxygen. Okay, normally oxygen exists as the atomic molecule. That is O2, but ozone is O3. O ozone helps us to pro protect 
helps us, uh, okay, um, in the context on the concept of protection against excess UV or ultraviolet rays, okay, from the sun, solar radiation, okay, like about 99% um, of it. So once it's been depleted or it's been destroyed, we are going to have excess exposure of solar radiation, okay, and this can lead to eye cataracts skin cancer, reduction in um, crop yield, and what have you. So that gas we're talking about is ozone, O3. The gas that is most useful in protecting humans against solar marathon is ozone, found in option B. Kindly click on the link in the description below. It's going to take you to the MySchool website. On this site, you can get the MySchool mobile app or the MySchool software for just a token of 1,000 euros. So join me as we solve question six. Vulcanization involved the removal of what? Okay, at first, um, vulcanization, you know, you are introducing sulfur to make uh, a material harder, okay, stronger. Okay, so, and um, in this particular uh, context, we are looking at rubber. You know, rubber has a, a, a double covalent bond, okay? So, when you introduce this um, sulfur atom to it, it forms a kind of, um, it reacts with a double bond there, and it forms a kind of cross link. This cross link is very strong to support the long chain of rubber that you've just um, gotten or that you've just um, improved. Okay, I think that is a better um, term to use that you've just improved. And this calls for um, the greater tensile strength, the durability, and what have you. So the correct option here is option C, the double bond. Vulcanization involves the removal of the double bond. Option C is very correct. Do not forget to hit the like button. Also click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notification so you can get alert immediately we upload the next video clip. Question seven. The acid in electrolysis of water is dilute what? Okay, so talking about the electrolysis of water, the acid there is dilute H2SO4, dilute sulfuric acid, you know. Introducing this acid um, increases the conductivity of the water because it dissociates well in water. So you should just know that at the cathode, hydrogen is being produced. At the anode, we have oxygen. So the acid in electrolysis of water is what? It is dilute H2SO4 or tetra surface 6 acid. So option C is very correct. Question 8. A small quantity of solid ammonium chloride, okay, heated gently in a test tube. The solid gradually disappears, producing two gases, okay. Later, a white cloudy deposit was absent on the cooler part of the test tube. The ammonium chloride is said to have undergone what, okay. That process described here is sublimation, you know, when the particular solid moves from the solid state to the gaseous state without passing through the liquid phase. That is sublimation. Another example of such solid is um, iodine. Okay, so when you talk about distillation, you are talking about um, you separating a solvent from a solution or two miscible liquids. When we come to precipitation, you know, when the particular solid has some um, different um, um, solubility, okay, in different solution. Okay, take for example, ion two tetrahedral surface six in water and ethanol. Uh, we have evaporation, you know, when you are trying to um, recover a solute from a solution. So the correct option is option B for sublimation. Number nine, when salt loses its water of crystallization to the atmosphere on exposure, the process is said to be water, process is said to be efflorescence. Example is your sodium tetrahydrosulfate 4 solution, um, rather your sodium tetrahydrosulfate 4, okay? Not solution now, uh, please. So we have um, deliquescence. When you talk about deliquescence, you're talking about a particular salt that absorbed, uh, absorbs water from the atmosphere when it's being exposed and it turns into a solution. Example is your sodium hydroxide. Um, we have um, effervescence, effervescence, you know, um, an escape of gas from an aqueous solution, you know, that bubbling and that fizzing that we see. Example, when you open up your beer, your champagne, your carbonated soft drinks, you know, that's uh, fizzing that we see and uh, we have fluorescence you know is the emission of light by a particular substance because it has absorbed light or electronic uh, radiation so the correct option here is option a for a fluorescence question 10 atomicity of ozone is what that is telling you about how 
what are the numbers of um, atoms present in ozone okay so we know oxygen gas is the atomic that is o2 two atoms for ozone is o3 that is three atoms of oxygen okay that tells you a triatomic uh, molecule so like i said oxygen gas o2 two atoms for ozone that is o3 all right we have other allotropes of oxygen as well but this is o3 three atoms so the correct option is option c that contains three number 11 which of the noble gases has the greatest ionization energy okay just know this about some noble gases the group o um, elements okay um, the ionization energy decreases down the group okay so starting from helium down to radon okay so the the gas with the highest the, the greatest ionization energy is helium okay from helium you move to neon from neon you move to argon from argon you move to krypton from krypton you move to xenon from xenon you move to radon so radon should have the lowest ionization energy and helium should have the greatest or the highest ionization energy so the correct option is option a for helium question 12 the weakest attractive force that can be observed between two molecules is what that is um the van der Waals um, force okay it's a weak force that has about um, 110 to 100 okay of covalent of the strength of covalent bond so the correct option here is option d for van der Waals force number 13 an element used in production of matches is what okay that element is sulfur other fireworks too that is sulfur for you also as a bleaching agent that's sulfur for you uh, you know nitrogen is being used as a cooling agent okay uh, we're talking about aluminium you can use it to make cooking utensils um, copper we talk about plumbing or roofing uh, materials also electric um, cables so the correct option here is option d4 sulfur is the element used in the production of matches number 14 Cathode rays cause an object placed behind the perforated anode to cast a shadow on the screen. Okay, this observation shows that the rays actually travels in a straight line or they travel in straight line. So the correct option here is option D, they travel in straight line. Of course, we know that uh, cathode rays, they are not positively charged. So the correct option here is option D, that they travel in straight lines. Number 15 flow of current in electrolytes is due to the movement of what okay uh, electrolytes are able to conduct electricity due to the movement of ions so the correct option here is option c flow of current in electrolytes is due to the movement of ions option c is the correct option don't forget that you can ask your questions right now all you need to do use the link in the description below it's going to take you to the my school website where you can ask those questions right now and our solution providers are going to help you out so join me as we solve question 16 a suitable reagent for distinguishing between ethanoic acid and ethanol is what okay this is an acid do a weak acid okay and this is ethanol and alcohol so um, when you talk about bromine water, that is just used to test for a thing to show you that um, it is unsaturated, or one of those things. Uh, when you talk about felling solution, you know, you want to distinguish between uh, alkan alkanals and alkanons, okay? Then talking about sodium hydrogen trials or carbonate 4, okay? You know, this uh, particular, when you dissolve this in water, you should get an alkaline solution, okay? And that gives you a very good hint. That when you react it with an acid, you are going to get water, carbon dioxide, and salt. So this is an acid. This is an alcohol. So reacting this that gives you an, an alkaline solution tells you what you should get. So the correct option here is option C. A suitable reagent for distinguishing between ethanoic acid and ethanol is sodium hydrogen triosocarbonate 4. Going through our video clips, you may have one or two contributions or explanations you'd like to add. All you just need to do is to use the comment section below, indicate the question number and the explanation you would like to share. Number 17. The above orbital diagram shows, shows the electronic configuration of what element? Okay, so when you look through this uh, configuration, we have 1s2, 
2 s 2 2 p 1 2 3 2 p 3 okay so when you add up all of these arrows this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so what uh, element has the atomic number of seven that is nitrogen hydrogen helium lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen okay that is seven for you so the elements we are looking at is nitrogen chlorine has atomic number of 17 calcium has atomic number of uh, 20 then neon atomic number of 10 so the correct option here is option b for nitrogen number 18 which of the following metals bonds with brick red okay that metal is calcium you know for lead this is pb lead okay um you can you can use the color in the flame test as um leave it blue um sodium yellow okay magnesium you can talk about bright white so the correct option is option b for calcium calcium bonds with brick red during the flame test question 19 in the production of soap concentrated sodium chloride solution is added to do what this is added to actually decrease the solubility of the soap so that it can come out as a cake okay on cooling so the correct option here is option b in the production of soap concentrated sodium chloride solution is added to decrease the solubility of the soap option b is the correct option question 20 a liquid that we dissolve fat is what okay we should know that fat lipids they are insoluble in um, polar solvents like water okay but very soluble in um, organic solvents like petroleum chloroform diethyl ether and what have you so and we have kerosene of course so you should know that some um, the viable option here the correct option here is c for kerosene a liquid that will dissolve fat is c kerosene We've come to the end of this segment, but there are more video clips to come. All you just need to do is to hit the like button. Also, do not forget to hit on the subscribe button and tap on bell notification so you can get informed as soon as we upload the next video clips.